This video will demonstrate how I am able to transfer a project from the lathe to the mill. A USD um, with the chair line being equipped with a 3 quarter 16th spindle node make it very easy to install and remove a chuck. Now that the chuck is off, we may go over to the mill and place it on the rotary cable. Here's the conventional chair line 4 inch rotary cable with a spindle node in third. Threaded for 3 quarter thickening. As you can see, I can take the lathe chuck and mount it right onto the face plate of the rotary cable. The work piece that's in the spindle of the chuck is for a GM15 project I'm working on. And what I'm going to be doing on the mill is drill and tap two for 40 holes, 45 degrees apart. What I was doing right there was zeroing out for my first reference point. At this point, I just removed the R8 collar from the spindle of the mill. And there is the R8 drill chuck holder, which is down, keep the drill running concentric to the spindle. For your information, the mill is the Harbor Freight Mini Mill, it's SIG 2. In order to use the rotary table on this mill, I had to modify the base plate. For this project, I need two 440 stitch screws. Uh, that will be mounted 45 degrees apart on the workpiece. And yes, I will be drilling and tapping two holes, 440. It's very difficult to tell from this angle, but there is very little clearance between the lay chuck face and the drill chuck body.
I would not be doing the actual drilling and tapping in this video. This, just to show the transition that I can do from the lathe to the mill. Thank you for taking the time to visit with me in the Gutmash workshop.